What we have here is a replica or a, a mock-up of the existing flange and up pipes on the floor of the Gulf of the oil leak. The top of the pipe, you can see some streamers blowing around. That's just some air blowing through there to let you know that we do have a flow. What we're going to do is we're going to remove one of the bolts out of the pattern. There are six in the flange. The other five, we're just merely going to loosen. And what happens when we loosen them, the flanges will separate and in that separation, we're going to slide in a cutoff plate. So with the flanges and the cutoff plate, what, what you really have is what they call a gate valve, and it should shut off the oil flow. Well, you can see now that the flange is starting to separate and that will happen uh, naturally because of the oil flowing through the pipe there is some friction and it will lift that flange. Okay we're going to now put the plate in the, the uh, steel shim. It'll go between the bolts across the pipes and it should cut off the oil flow. And you can see that it works. The streamers at the top have stopped moving. We're going to replace this, the six bolt, tighten everything down, torque everything down, and we'll be done. And it should, uh, it should stop the oil flow, and it should work under realistic conditions, too. Okay, that's our solution to the oil fix. Uh, again, it's a simple fix. Uh, we're utilizing what we have down there. The only thing we took with us is a steel shim. Separating the flanges, sliding it between the two, stopping the oil flow, tightening everything back up. Again, that's our oil fix. That's our oil leak fix here the 21st of June, 2010. Thank you.